What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are playing a deck that we just named Heartless Angels, which happens to be CPA 69's, uh, the name that they also gave it. And um, so we have three paths and two fatal push. We also have four Inquisition, two Thoughtseize. So a nice little disruption suite here. One Collective Brutality, four Heartless Summoning. Collective's nice because it lets us discard things for either Whip of Erebos uh, or it looks like just Whip of Erebos. I guess we're casting most of these. Four Heartless Summoning for obvious reasons. Uh, three Orzhov Signets, also nice. Two Gisellas and two Brunas. So we are going to uh, try to try to meld these ladies, which would be pretty gas in modern. Uh, one Shalai, which makes me wish that we had like a wooded, 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 wooded Bastion, just so we can maybe activate it, but it's probably not necessary. Four Bane Slayer Angels, not legendary. One Lyra, legendary. Four Thalia's Lancers, which gets what? An, a legendary creature? Yeah, that's pretty good. A legendary card. So Thalia's Lancers can actually search up Whip of Erebos. They can search up Aleshnorn, Bruna, Gristlebrand, Gristlebrand, Lyra, Obsidat, Shalai, Giselle. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of searching. Uh, one Aleshnorn, two Bruna, and one Gristlebrand. This is a lot of sweet top end stuff. Uh, this looks pretty sweet. Um, three Rest in Peace I like. One Linvala's and one Iona are sweet because you can cast them for cheap and you can also search them out with the Thalia's Lieutenant. Two more Collective Brutality. One more Whip. Three Damping Sphere, which is great. One Athreos, which is interesting. And one Liliana. Three Lilianas. Um, I don't actually... Oh yeah, you can also search out an Iganjo or a Shizo with Thalia's Lancer, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> oh man, good times, good times. Thalia's Lancer, it, it does its best uh, Civic Wayfinder impression, or it's its best like draw an angel. I don't actually have any idea what I would change from this list right now, so I'm actually just gonna play it like this. I I often said if you guys have been watching my content for any number, any this is Hearthless. Oh no, hold on, hold on. I have to rename it because I I'm really not export let's go to properties H yeah heartless angels and i like putting the name at the end so i know whose deck we're playing cool all right hearthless there's no hearths um if you guys have watched my content for any any number of any amount of time you should know that i'm a big fan of black white in modern black white control decks uh are pretty sweet and I've typically uh, championed them. And uh, this basically has all the things that I would want out of a black-white control deck with, with all the, like, sweet removal, like, some of the best removal in the format and some of the best discard, like, disruption. And also your sideboard is usually really, really good because the black and white cards are some of the best sideboard cards. I have, like, I have all these matches up. I have this one up where we went 1-0, and then we lost this one, so we're 1-1. And then CPA killed us, and so we were 1-2. And then we lost to the red deck, and there were 1-3. And then we lost to the Tron deck. We went 1-4 with that with that aristocrat deck. That's pretty sad. That that hurts my that hurts my soul. However, that's not what's gonna happen here. Not what's gonna happen here. Hearthstoneless Angels. That is that's an accurate name. If we play a deck with Mana Rocks and Heartless Summoning, are we a Hearthstone deck? Wow. We're a Hearthstone. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, they went to five cards? Perfect. That's exactly how. The only way, I, I only feel good about winning games of Magic when they mulligan to five, and then we thought seize them. Lightning Axe, Electrodominance, Electrodominance as foretold. I think we just take Lightning Axe here. These all do the same thing, which is kind of nothing. I'm afraid of Lightning Axe because it kills both of our threats. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of it, I guess. They also have no red. I'm just going to take the As Foretold. As Foretold is pretty strong, and it lets you start casting things that you probably shouldn't cast. Oh, would you look at that? How lucky. 
So lucky, such luck. All right, handful of five drops, let's do this. Let's draw a Gisela followed by a land. Okay, Inquisition. It's not exactly what we're going for here, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's take your Lightning Axe now. Gorio's Vengeance. Oh, we're 100% taking that. That's much more frightening to me. How did we get punished? It doesn't even make any sense. Oh, we did it. We're going to lead off with Thalia's Lancers because it's a significantly less uh, threatening card. So I want them to be able to kill this. And it draws us a card anyway, so that's fine. We could just find a six land, which is super nice. All right, what are we getting here? Oh, if they kill this, then we just get Whip. Whip. Actually, I kind of like Obsidat here. I don't care. We have a we have a Lyra. We also have another way to. God, the, this is great. I'm just gonna get the Obsidat. The only thing Gorgios is good with, I think, is Obsidat, because then you can exile it at the end of the turn. Otherwise, like, just getting an extra hitting with Lyra or whatever is not as good. And, and like, it feels like Whip is going to do this kind of the same thing. Like, you're basically just obsidating with, uh... Or you're basically just whipping... You know what I'm saying. You're basically just Gorgo's Vengeance thing with Whip anyway. Oh, they didn't. They were like, nah. I'm just going to keep playing Thalia's Lancers and force them to deal with them because... I guess if they draw Living End, it's fine. I mean, they don't have any creatures in the graveyard. It's just a Wrath of God. You can counter this? It's happening right now. I know your hand is Lightning Axe, Electrodominance, Electrodominance, right? So. Uh, target Legendary Creature against Fear until end of turn. And this is Prevent the next two. I'm just going to get Castle here and play it as my land. Because then if we play Lyra Dawnbringer, if we draw a land and then play like a Lyra or an Obsidat, then they're, they just they're just protected from Lightning Axe anyway. The problem is this is just a 4-4 four, four for 5, which is not super great in Modern, but the, the, the versatility of cards you can draw with it, it's pretty good. That's fascinating. get in there do the... <laughs> all right so they're at eight i don't really want to play anything else on the board to be quite honest um i don't even feel like we need heartless summoning here like they're dead on board anything else we play they can easily just lightning axe so i'm just gonna pass So we know three of their cards. I mean, I guess they have to do something here. Discarded an Electro Dominance and a Lightning Axe, sure. All right, well, we know they're one. I feel like they would have put a creature in the graveyard if they had one. to obviously use colorless don't be ridiculous are you gonna counter this <whistles> remand oh draw two discard two sure that seems fine deceiver exarch fascinating I will exile this guy because now you have this turn to win or else we just literally kill you. Guys, I think we're doing it.
We won the game. Guys, we won the game. Okay, they're playing like the... I kind of like Damping Sphere because it forces them to... Uh... It makes their As Foretolds worse, right? Hmm. Is there any chance we're like casting an Iona? Reasonably. Six. She still costs seven. She still costs seven. But boy, could Hooklin use some. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's bring in the Linvala. We can cut the Shalai. Uh, Collective Brutality seems pretty good here. So does Rest in Peace. I don't know if I care about F Fatal Push that much. Leshnorn also seems pretty good. We can probably cut two of the Thought Seizes. We can bring in Rest, Rest, Collective, Collective. If we're bringing in the other Rest, we can probably take out the Whip, right? That seems pretty bad. I mean, the 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 life link is fine, but I don't think it's super necessary. Dear Dad, what's going on? Thanks so much for the for the kind words. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we can take all of our our graveyard relevant cards out, which is literally just whip. Okay, this is not the hand we're looking for. Oh, Bruna does reanimate, doesn't she? Does she reanimate, or does it? Yeah, this hand seems good. I'm gonna bottom this. All we saw was Deceiver Exarch, but I'm not really sure, like... Are they, like, cycling? We didn't see a single cycling card. So turn two Heartless Summoning into turn three Lancer or Lyra seems pretty good. Oh, man. Dear Dad, I'm really looking forward to the Legacy Cube this week. That seems like it's going to be good times. All right, let's do this. We need a second white here. Are you gonna counter this? Are you gonna are you gonna is it charm this? Oh boy. Oh boy. <whistles> Guess not. Guess you got it. Are your stips and nips ready? My nips are ready. I don't know that we don't have any stips in the queue. I don't think people are queuing up that quickly. Oh, they missed another land drop. Oh, that's that's good. One, two, three, four, five. Both of these cost three. We can almost play both. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, one, two, three. Let's play a three, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Do we have black, black, black? We don't have three black though. I think the ghost quarters might be a little ambitious here. How many do we have? Just two? No, we have four ghost quarters. That might be too many. Just because our we do have a lot of the black and white has a lot of high color restrictions. Um do you use a Leshnorn? Like the, how do they how do they beat an Leshnorn? Yeah, triple black with the signet, but not quad black. I'm thinking I was thinking of getting gristle brand, but we don't have quad black yet. I mean we could ghost quarter our other ghost quarter and get a swamp. But I think it, I think a Leshnorn's fine. Let's make sure we didn't play land this turn. Come. 
Coalition Dog is cool, but like you want to play Heartless Summoning or, or Orzhov Signet on turn two and then play something relevant on turn three, I think. How many Godless Shrine? Hope we have four. Okay, good. I'm, I'm game. I can even see Isolated Chapel because we have a lot of uh, a lot of ways for it to come into play untapped. Failed Storm into Reanimator considered a step? I mean, it's not not a step. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why do they tap here? This is fascinating. Sure. I'm actually going to attack first because it might trick them into blocking. Yeah, this is actually exactly what we wanted to happen. Just eat it. Just eat it. You better run and run and do what you can. How hard do I have to try to draft Storm? Uh, and then before I say I failed. So I can draw draft Reanimator. Electro dominance for one. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I didn't even see they had Gristle Brand in the graveyard. Okay, so next time we're going to definitely put Rest in Peace. I wasn't entirely sure what their deck was doing. Uh, should I be wary of girls dating me just to get married? Yes. Uh, I mean, I, I think that's always something you should be wary of, but. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. This is awkward. There is a lot to that question. You're right. There's a lot to unpack here. Uh, this guy costs three, and we need double white for it. Okay, so we're going to do this. Boy, Gristlebrand is a hell of a card. Hell of a card. Uh, return an angel or a human. Okay, well. Actually, can we Linvala here? Yes, we can. Well, enjoy your cards. Go to one. They didn't go to one. Dang it. Well, that's the end. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Yeah, like, if we actually ended up resolving the rest in peace, I think we would have been real good. I mean, turn two Heartless Summoning seemed like where we wanted to be. But rest in peace is uh, clearly more, more important than I expected.
One, two, three, four, five. One, two. We're actually we're one shy of playing both. Right? Yes, correct. Oh, we could go get it. We can get a Thalia's Lancers and get a Gisela. Does that keep us alive? They have seven cards in hand? Good lord. Oh man, I oh man. What if we when do they meld? Let's be your end step. Oh man, if we only kept another red up. See, this is a misplay. Or another white up rather. We could have actually melded. Although all they need to do is um I mean, this is probably pretty easy to kill. Oh, man. Oh, man, I wish we thought... I wish we we had the... Oh, I'm so frustrated that we actually have the mana to do this. We could have melded them. Uh, your opponents can't cast spells like Kirby three or less. That would have been insane. But, I mean, like, to be fair, they have seven cards in hand. And they could easily go up to uh, 14 cards in hand. And finding a Lightning Axe is not a tricky proposition. The event has been canceled. What? What event? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? Well, okay. Yeah, seeing blood moons in the graveyard is pretty nice to know. You know, the event. I played a deck like this that milled every powerful creature I could find and milled living in, then played that creature that lets you play a sorcerer instantly. Oh, the goblin dark dwellers. Sure. They could actually living end here and get Kikijiki to see for Exarch. And then we get, oh, actually, but then we get a Linvala back. I mean, that'd probably not stop them, though. They have Bristle Brand. Gristly Bristle. Bristle Brand. Grissy B. Maybe they, they might have. No, there's a Lightning Axe in there still. Well, I'm not going to chump with Bruna here. Oh, man, the stupid... This stupid swamp making me mad. I'm going to put two isolated chapels in, basically, immediately. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, yeah, we're still one shy from this guy, too. an interesting choice.
echoing truth. Seems good. And well, all right. Not dead yet. Man, we were so close, guys. <laughs> Why do it at the end of your turn? That doesn't even make any sense. There's no reason to do it at the end of your turn. Well, we see no basics in their grave. I have to assume they have one swamp, but I, I, I agree with you that they might. Sure. Yep, that is fine. If you kill this, it's less fine. Yep. Mono mono echoing truth dot deck. Okay. So I think our sideboarding was fine. Maybe we want thought seizes in here. Path seems relevant. Brutality seems... Actually, Brutality seems worse than Thoughtseize here, right? Okay, um, this hand is iffy. I'm iffy on it. We don't do anything. We do have a path and an inquisition, which is not bad, but it's not great. Three signets, four heartless summonings. This feels like a shipper. Oh, uh, we're playing it's like the Living End deck. It's really tough. This is not an easy keep. This is worse. This is worse. If there's a land on top, I mean, we're not going to know, though. Hmm. I went to six too. All right, you can go to the bottom. Okay, we're doing it. We're not doing it. One land in this hand is much better. Gristlebrand's close. That's basically like a land that. Uh, that uh, costs eight more mana. Would you be up to? Would you like to pay two life? Yes, I would. Don't is it charm me, bro? I asked you nicely, and you did it anyway. That's pretty rude. Yeah, this is the rough thing about being on the draw and then not hitting your second land drop because, or being on the play and not hitting your second land drop because they just get to counter. Uh, with the card they probably have two of in their deck. <laughs> like the only, literal only counter spell they probably have in their entire 60. When they get to just windmill slam their as foretold. Blood Moon. Seems good. Joke's on you. I got Norzov signet, buddy. <laughs> Hitting all the, all the choice enchantments for your deck. All right. Well. So I guess they just get to draw like three cards now. That's pretty good. Hmm. 
Okay. Sure. Six swamp, bro. Yeah, so like double black, double red, double black, double red. Whole hand is just doubles. Well, this guy's double double, so. Hmm. Double as foretold. I mean, all things considered, second signet's not terrible. <clears throat> okay. Mono Blood Moons here. Um, you know what? I mean, all things considered, we know one of their cards is a Gristle brand. Faithless Lutso Toots, sure. Sure. The old nine cards in hand, a classic. Yeah, it's pretty much impossible to beat a Gristle Brand once they, uh, you know, activate it. What are you gonna do about this? Nothing. Oh, you're literally gonna counter it? <laughs> Negate. Do you have another negate? Are you gonna go one? Are you gonna go one life? Are you gonna go to one life? Are you gonna go one? Well, we can't play anything else. So let's pass. How many lands are in the deck actually? 23? Hmm. We got more things to do. I'll electro dominance for three, and then I'll play another living thing. Faithless looting, sure. We are technically not dead. I mean, I guess they could just play Kiki Jiki here, right? And then they just kill us with Kiki Jiki. Key comes, McG comes. I'm gonna get ready. Are you ready? God, they're going through so many cards. Yeah, we actually tapped both signals because I thought we were gonna play Gisela and Thoughtseize. But once they countered the Thoughtseize, I was like, oh, let's get rid of this Crystal Brand too. Well, this is just rude. 
ideally we're just going to draw planes right obviously planes off the top i mean that's close to a planes kind of double 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 quad yep all right well i'm just going to pass here i hope you have five lands in hand and that you don't actually just kill us with electro dominance these are all my my dreams oh you just have another electro dominance so you're going to deal five to us seems good seems good that's three. That's three of four. <laughs> Ravenous trap. Weird. Well, Cleansing Nova would destroy their enchantments, but it would also destroy our Orzhov Signets and our Heartless Summonings as well. Worth Worth keeping in mind. It's weird to use all three if you could potentially draw Kiki Jiki and just kill us on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Echoing truth. Jesus. They have two cards in hand. So I have one card in hand. Now they have two cards in hand again. I mean, we actually managed to hold on. This this game went on for a lot longer than I expected it to. We actually got to hold on for a lot longer than I thought. Why wouldn't you Faithless Looting here and try to just kill me with either Kiki Jiki or Electro Dominance? Yeah, this actually doesn't do anything. I was hoping we could play two things, but one, two, three, four, five. Three. We actually could if we had more white mana. Oh, we're still not dead until they kill us. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why you waited to do that. <laughs> <laughs> just cast it at the end of my turn so we can move on with our lives okay um yeah take out two ghost quarters two isolated chapels seems good um you just really want to maximize the number of black and white mana you have in the deck I also like surgical a lot. I feel like Atheros has never impressed me in sideboards. And I think the Iona might be too expensive. But I guess you do have the Bruna to get back Iona. We don't have a ton of ways to discard her though. That's the problem. Like how many how do we get, actually get the Iona in the graveyard? We have basically just the collective brutality, right? I also don't feel like we need Shalai in the deck. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, so you'd bring in Liliana and, and Iona. I could see that. I actually like one Kalidus a lot. 
that seems better than yeah that seems better than shalai really Unbarrow rights one unbarrow rights also seems pretty sweet i might like that better than we already have one two three four five we have six discard spells i could actually see unbarrow rights over collective yeah i like that let's try it like that it's a it's another five drop but like you're a lot you're gonna have a lot of creatures going to the graveyard Where are the heartless, hearthless angels. Oh no. Do we want 24 lands? We might want 24 lands. I'm going to keep this because we can probably play everything we draw. Although it is awkward to not be able to play turn one Inquisition here. I actually I like I like having a second swamp as well. Um we're gonna actually we're on the play. If we kept this we could play turn one inquisition. I still don't think it's worth having a one, two, three, six mana source in our hand in our opening hand. Yeah, that's fine. Speak of the devil. So now we have to consider whether we Inquisition on two or we try to cut Kalidus on three. Knight's Whisper is also one of my favorite cards. I love Knight's Whisper in, in the black-white decks. It's just a good way to draw some cards. And we only have 23 lands. I don't think we need... I don't think we're, we we have that many lands. Gonna see your true color. They didn't attack with their Noble Hierarch? Oh wait, this is still our turn? Fascinating. I thought we were waiting for them. Making for the Heartless of Times, Gerst, Gerst the Tentacles first. The tentacle, now, now you lose your heart, what next? <laughs> what next? I can't, I can't, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Well, they have one card left in hand, so that's good. That's good. I feel like we're actually still fine, to be to be quite honest. Thank you. Sure. Kelsier, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Was it 4-4? Four, four? That's a good amount. That's a sizable gentleman. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, We're going to play Shizo. And then we're going to play your boy. 
You know. I mean, they have Leon and Arbiters, which is kind of scary. One, th one thing I am going to do is I'm going to take out one Thoughtseize. Because six of these is a lot. Actually, we'll take out one Inquisition because I like two. I like a 3-2 split. Well, they had no cards in hand, so they have to top deck a path here in order for it to be a path. Which I'm not super concerned with. It is kind of irritating that they have two 2-2s two that are both 4-4s four when they attack with uh, Noble Hierarchs. There you go. There you go. Although it is nice that there's no relevant cards in any graveyard right now. I've got a point where, like, any card we draw is very, very good here because the creatures can't be affected by Thalia. It's going to be a Gristlebrand, though. It's going to be a land. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. Gains fear, huh? Well. Good times. Ask for a land, get Gristlebrand. Ask for Gristlebrand. I didn't ask for Gristlebrand, to be fair. We just happened to mention Gristlebrand, and they're like, oh, you just want a land so you can cast Gristlebrand? I get it. And I was like, yeah, okay. Well, we're going to six here, and then we're going to five. So we really need something here. I felt like Kalidus was going to really uh, even out this game. But he has... Oh, my God, I hate this card so much. It's my least favorite card in the format. next to second marsh flats oh my god dude because of thalia yes all right this is i'm having a good time this deck is so miserable dude i'm sorry this is not a fun deck to play against Ugh. cool well we're gonna play this because if we play one of these we're dead so that's watch we're gonna draw like well i guess there's no six drops we could really draw They can eat their own Thalia now. They did not. Because it's like, you just, you like, this is not a, a typical, like, interaction. Usually, like, we've gone over this a million times. Every time... <sighs> Nothing on this dude is typical. Like, you never have to do that. You never have to click on this card before you do it. Like, it's so dumb. I would have personally attacked with Scavenging Use as a 4-4, and then if we don't block, kill us. Forcing us to block, but... Another land. 23 lands. We've drawn... We drew two spells this game. We drew a Kalidus and an Inquisition of Kozilek. Seems good, Magic. Seems good. Thank you. Preesh. Okay. So. Take a Thoughtseize out, because the other thing hits everything. Um, don't really care about Linvala. Liliana's could actually be nice. Brutality kills all of their creatures. I said Linval. I think I said I think I meant Liliana. I don't know really what we're taking out for. Maybe we take out the Gristle Brand for like one Liliana. I kind of feel like we want like Liliana the Last Hope in this deck because being able to just return one of these creatures to our hand is pretty awesome, but also uh, it's just a nice little speed bump. I do like Liliana of Last Hope more than the other one. Also, we can get Planeswalkers with Thalia's Lancer, which is pretty sick. We might be missing some... Some, uh... Some sweet Planeswalker equity.
Uh, we're definitely keeping this hand. Turn two Heartless, turn three Lyra seems pretty insane. All right, what do you got here? Leon and Arbiter. But then they just purge our Heartless summoning. The alternative is they actually don't have a white source. Double Aether Vial, though. This is rough. I guess we actually take the purge, then when they put Arbiter into play, we can kill it. Doctor Doom or Nick Fury and why? Uh, Doctor Doom would actually win. I don't, I can't, it's it's hard to explain to you why, unfortunately. So we go turn two. Yeah, I think we can actually do this and get rid of the, um, we still have time to, like we'll go Heartless Summoning and then we'll go Lyra. And they're gonna go Aether Vial here. So Aether Vial and Forest. Okay, that's good to have. Uh, that shouldn't need an explanation. Yeah, it's like Doctor Doom is just way too powerful. Like Doctor Doom is able to utilize magic. He's able to utilize his brilliance. He's you use like he use he's able to utilize technology. Like, hey man, don't be, don't discriminate against Nick Fury. I guess we're just playing Baneslayer here instead, right? So we played Ghost Quarter. So we know at least two of the cards in their hand. His backup plan should be to leave Dr. Doom alone. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Infamous Iron Man was fantastic. Yeah, I really loved him. Was that Bendis? I believe that was Bendis. Did they just kill their own land to get a planes? Nice. Yeah, that was Bendis and Maleev. Actually, Bendis and Maleev worked on Daredevil as well, and it was really good then. Maleev's art is fantastic. Alex Maleev is just great. Oh, they just pathed my guy, and I didn't get a land because of their thing. That's cool. What a scumbag. We know one of their cards is an Aether Vial, so that's okay. Infamous Iron Man was not the Nano Seed. It was actually when Doctor Doom took over as Iron Man post-Secret War. I love Doctor Doom because he's the character in the Marvel Universe that's been built up to be, like, so just ridiculously powerful. That you all kind of just know. You're just like, you know what? We save Doctor Doom for the good storylines because... But he's not, like, super evil. He's not, like, an evil dude who's just like, I'm going to kill you for no reason. Like, he's just a very intelligent... Uh... If they try to, like, kill one of our lands, we're going to lean it. We're going to path that lean and arbiter. Oh, we're not because we have this in play. Well, that's unfortunate. These draws are un this is unbelievable. I'm actually having a hard time like understanding what's happening in this game. You've just drawn back to back non-matching paths. Cool. Just actual unbelievable. That is why you were prohibited today with my daughter. <laughs> oh, man. That's good stuff. Well, I mean, we have a ton of draws, but, like, I don't feel good about this right now because...
this is just so ridiculous. Like we had turn three Lyra into Baneslayer, and like they just had no, they just top deck two paths in a row. Like it's, I don't, I don't actually like. And then we're just gonna hit literal mono lands for the rest of the game. I mean, it's kind of rough. There's only 23 lands in the deck. Like this shouldn't actually be the case. Thankfully, there because because all of our removal spells have been paths, there are no creatures to increase the scavenging moves. So we can actually get a Thalia's Lancers into a something else. <laughs> Inquisition of Kozilek. The, the sad thing is, if this is a creature, if they have any creature whatsoever, we're just dead. So, yep, and we're dead. All right. Yep. The flood is real, guys. The flood is real. Um Yeah, I'm gonna take the Ember Arts out. I just don't feel like we need it. Like we just have I don't actually love the Gristle brand. I feel like it's a little too cute and it might be a little too hard to actually cast. Why the Orzhov signets so that we can cast our five drops, and our four drops, and our three dro and our seven drops. So we cut, we cut an un unbarrel, and we cut uh, the Gristlebrand, and we can add just more legendary. What are? Let me. I'm gonna look up the sweet white. Uh, I'm gonna look up the white black planeswalkers that, actually, Sorens are are pretty sweet. I was thinking of three mana Gideon because I don't really want more five drops. I think our five drop slot is pretty well saturated here. Uh, type line, Planeswalker. White or black. Convert a mana cost less than or equal to four. And legal and modern. Search it up. May I recommend to you the addition of red? No. No, you may not. No, you may not. What about a Kaya? I like that a lot, actually. I don't have any Kayas. That's really sad. So I'm going to head on over to manatraders.com, and I'm going to use their renting service to borrow at least one Kaya. Maybe two. Kaya is now like 22 tickets on Magic Online, and that is pretty unbelievable. Please acknowledge I recommended you the edition of Red. <laughs> Hey, I did acknowledge it, okay? I just told you no. God. Why are you like this? I have no time to talk about Tybalt, unfortunately. How does the renting service work? Uh, you get a certain amount of mana hours and you get a certain amount of ticks to spend each month. So, um, or actually it's not a certain amount of ticks. I think it's actually, you get 750 ticks, which means like, I mean, depending on the service you get, uh, you'll have that many tickets to spend on cards at any given time. And if you return them, you get more. Like you, if you return them, once you return them, it replenishes what you have. And, um, you know, each month you can borrow up to a certain amount of mana hours. So it's all, it's all right on the, on the site. You can, and if you use my link and the promo code in my description, you get 20% off your first three months. And um, it's pretty good. So it's my 21st birthday. Wanted to stop in before I go for the night. Thanks for all the great content. You can become these around. Dude, happy birthday, buddy. Have a great time. I will see you on the YouTubes. Well, no, you'll see me, I guess. And then they open trade with you, and you take the cards, and you're done. So what about one Elspeth, one Soren? Ooh, that's interesting. I do like Kaya in here, just one. I hear a humming noise from somewhere. I have you on the lowest volume. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. I do like a Kaya in the sideboard. 
I'm going to take the Iona out. I think it's too cute, I'm going to be honest. I think it's like a card that we're going to try to play, and then we're never going to be able to play. Is it Which is better, Soren or Elspeth as a four-mana Planeswalker? The one thing that, that, that Heartless Summoning doesn't do is ramp us to four, so Orzhov's Signet would have to do that. Hmm. Tokens die? What does that mean? Oh, because Heartless Summoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I, I, I understand that. What gods are even good, though? I don't love the gods, to be honest. I also don't love making tokens and having them just die. Erebos, Heliod... Nah, none of those are good, though. Those guys all suck. <laughs> all those idiots suck. Um... Interesting. I'm just trying to figure out what our last card could be. We have an Atheris in the sideboard. Uh, that's not what we want to do. I kind of like Knight's Whisper. I feel like with four Lyra, with a Lyra and three and four Bane, Bane Slayer Angels and two Gisellas, we should be gaining more life than we are. <laughs> It feels weird how little life we've been, we've been gaining. Uh, I don't know if we need Anguish Making just because we have three paths and two Fatal Push. And then five of these to get rid of anything else, but uh, it is an option. I'll take the Atheros out as well. What are we having? It's like burned. I don't think I, I don't think I like Liliana on the sideboard. Like Liliana's cute when you have Iona and Gristlebrand, but I don't I don't know what she's what are you what are you doing? What's your what's your game here, Liliana? I'd rather have like core firewalkers or like some kind of something against red decks. The problem is we don't really have a reanimator package. We just have literally seven mana Brunas. Um, yeah, circle of protection red. Let's try that one out. How do I think War of the Spark will impact modern? I have no idea. Depends on what kind of cards are in there. <laughs> I mean, considering we have literally not seen one single card from the set, it's very hard to answer a question like that. I basically put her in for the cuteness, and I, I respect her power level a lot, but I mean, I, it's hard to be like, what am I boarding this in against? You know what I mean? Um... Also, Kaya's nice to gain some incremental life here. I like Core Firewalker. Yeah, Core Firewalker is probably better than uh, two Core Firewalkers and maybe like Surgical. I like Surgical a lot. How is it a non-bow? Just because they don't... Just because they don't... I mean, it's not going to kill it. Circle of Protection is interesting. Like, I didn't even realize that was legal in Modern, to be quite honest. Oh, Cam Ball seems sweet. One Cam Ball seems pretty good. I like that. Um, oh, what up, Kerwit? Interesting. Circle of Protection is super interesting. I didn't even think that was legal and modern, to be quite honest. I'm going to try one on the sideboard. You know, uh, oh, we got this nice, this nice Harold McNeil art. Harold McNeil is also a real weirdo. I'm pretty sure that dude's an actual racist in real life. I 
I, I dislike Rune Halo just because I never want to name one card when I don't know what I'm naming, right? This is a real interesting hand. Oh, really? I'm totally looking up Harold. I'm totally looking at his Facebook page. Oh, God. Oh, I bet it, I bet this is super cringe. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna keep this hand. <laughs> Reassembling skeleton. I'm keeping this hand because if we draw anything, what in the earth? You know what? I'm game. Show me what you got. Spectral procession. Raise the alarm. Legion's landing in tangible virtue. Okay. You have one land. I'm probably taking the raise the alarm here. So yikes. You're just going to hit another land though, right? So next turn you go raise the alarm. Fall God, intangible virtue is also very strong, but you already have ley line. I think it's got to be Spectral. Spectral seems like the strongest card here, but... Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to lead off with or Orzov's Signet here, though, because I'd rather have the 4-3 Gisela than the 3-2 Gisela. Oh, Massacre Worm in the sideboard seems pretty sick. That seems like gas. Yep, now they're all very big. Let's get a basic land here. I actually didn't realize it was a Fetid Heath. That's pretty funny. Okay, so we know their last card is not Concealed, not Legions, not Virtue. We don't actually know their last card. So we block here, we take six, we go to two, and then we gain four, we go to six. We get to eat a guy. Legion's Landing is pretty gross, though. Gracious Kitty, have a good afternoon, buddy. I really appreciate the hanging out. That's an archetype I haven't seen in 40 years. Well, I'm taking out this vampire first. Thank God for first strike on life-linking angel, ladies. Oh my God, really? Really, Magic? Really? God, I feel like this deck is not getting a fair shake right now. These draws have been pretty brutal. Do you have Vigilance? No, you don't have Vig. So we would take nine and go to one. Yeah, we're not doing that. <sighs> what is this? Secure the Wastes? Oh my god. Seems bad. God, I don't even know. Collective Brutality actually hits their their spells, their creatures. Lush Norn seems like an, an MVP here. Obsidat does not seem great. Path doesn't seem great.
I mean, if we drew a draw spell, we would have just drawn a regular spell, right? So, like, if we put a draw spell in our deck, we would have just drawn a regular spell over the draw spell. So, I mean, I'm fine with... If we can just draw... It's just a matter of drawing lands instead. We would have just drawn lands over draw spells. It doesn't really matter. Still hating these ghost quarters, unfortunately. This hand is actually good if we can hit land. If we hit like a black land, this hand is actually very good. Go Knight's Whisper into Kaya into Collective Brutality. I want to keep this. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it goes on top. Just cracking it for a million here. I mean, three, three, three of these is pretty good, but. Scare of Legion landing. I like it. All right. We're doing it. I also like Field of Ruin better than Ghost Quarter in here, just because it fixes our land at the very least. Like, at least if we Field of Ruin somebody, we can get our second, like a second Swamp or a second uh, Plains. Well. Let's see if we're taking your... Oh, wow, that's a great hit. <laughs> they do have Lingering Soul still, but... I mean, ideally we draw two lands, then play Giselle. land that'll that'll do surprisingly five six seven so this is actually five So this is gone, Plains is presumably gone, Vault is gone, Lingering Souls is gone. I don't think we know. The Melt thing do? Which one? There's two. All right, this could be good. <laughs> we still have two seven drops in our hand, unfortunately. <sighs> Come at me, bro. No? Okay. Yeah, it feels like we're getting, like, one or the other. Like, it's really rough. I mean, we can actually path our own Gisela and uh, try to hit a land. And then we have five lands, so we can either play a Leshnorn or... Block here, we take two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We gain three. We can path one of the guys. Jeez. We take thirteen, we go to two, and if we path our own creature.
feel like this is wrong, but I don't think there's a really good solution to this problem. Like, if we can draw, like, Lyra or Baneslayer, okay, that's actually very good. Okay, so now we block two, we take, we gain eight, we go to 12, and then we take seven. All right. So as long as they didn't top deck an answer here, they top deck a ley line. No, oh, just a lingering souls. Well, that's pretty terrifying as well. Okay. Baneslayer? Baneslayer would, would do it again, I think. Another Heartless Swing does not do. We go block, block, we take 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then we gain 8. So we got 12. Yep, that's the end of that. Okay, we just can't win a game. This is unbelievable. I feel like our draws have been pretty terrible. Like, we either have no lands or too many lands, and I don't actually understand why. All right. Um, hmm. No, Lyra does not have Vigilance. Flying First Strike Life Link. Is Solemn, why is Solemn Simulacrum good with Heartless Summoning? Just because it ramps you? It doesn't seem terrible in general, but... Zealous Persecution would have been fine, but, like, you, you, you want to not think in terms of, like, what would have been good in that very specific match. You know what I mean? Like... Maybe it's better than Knight's Whisper. Maybe we're like going too hard on the Thought Season Inquisitions. Because in all honesty, we don't have that many ways to cast these on turn one with Fetid Heath. I'm gonna put in alright, so let's let's make some changes here. I think Field of Ruin is better than Ghost Quarter here. Thank you. Chicken unofficial. Chicken run official. I always say chicken unofficial. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Twitch is weird. Here's my late anniversary. I thought you didn't we just didn't you just do this the other day? I do want a second one of these, and I don't think we need three planes. I think Obsidat might be too cute. I kind of like one Massacre Room in the main deck, just because there are a lot of decks that you can search it out. Oh, you can actually search it out, though. That's the problem. Huh. So we took an Obstinat, and what else did we take out? The Knight's Whisper? Maybe we can take out one Orzhov Signet, because we do have, like, six of these is probably fine. I agree with the, I, I agree with the collected, the collected Brutality and being able to discard its Heartless Summoning. I wonder if there's a better way to do that, though. Get one more card. Maybe it is just... I mean, because, like, I don't think we need five copies of Discard if we're also playing Collective Brutality. I'm just a bigger Inquisition fan, to be quite honest. I 
No, because by the time you're actually able to activate uh, Mox Amber, like, you already have five mana, right? <laughs> Spanish one, or... Um, yeah, well, we're just trying to figure out what does or doesn't work. Maybe one Anguish one work making is fine because it gives you answers to things you might not have. Speaking of which, I hope Vindicate is in... That's true, we wouldn't be able to take Spectral Procession. But, I mean, what are you going to do? I guess the next time we face uh, a deck that has a 6-drop that can be cast for 3 mana, we wouldn't be able to get it. Like, that's that's kind of a real weird corner case reasoning. Uh, the character's name is Krovax. No, not Krovax. It is... Is it Crovax? Maybe it is Crovax. I think it is Crovax. I don't even know if I have an Ascendant. Yeah, it's Crovax, Ascendant Hero. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep at it. I agree with you with Lyra. I, I think the Lyra is fine. I, I also don't want to draw multiple Lyras and just be able to not cast one when Baneslayer does the job very, very similarly. And now we just keep, like, not drawing two lands. Alright, this hand is actually quite nice. Uh, real talk, we might have too many five drops. They went to four, so I'm going to put this on the bottom. Because we already have Inquisition. And Liliana to deal with some things. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Oh, that's, they don't want to show us. Okay. <gasps> oh, you're... Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Gonti. I'm going to put one Gonti and over one Thalia's Lancers. I worry about the number of five drops we have. Plus, I want to I want to maximize the number of cards that we can that we can just ramp into off of all these things. Oh, man. Gonti. My dude. I agree. I agree that the three drop slot is kind of weak, but the idea is playing a two drop that ramps us into a four drop. Like this. Exactly like this. I'll actually keep that. Very miscreant. And you, and you started with a overgrown tomb the first game this is pretty this is pretty fascinating what is happening right now we didn't even mulligan because we just didn't know what to bring in so let's get a swamp play an orzhov signet and then just hope we don't have they don't have an answer for uh, a good old fashioned Gisela. That's the broken blade, you know. I 
And I'm just going to get a planes here as well. <laughs> wow. Jesus. <laughs> the more I play this format, the more I feel like I want, like, infest in the sideboard. You're going to surgical extraction my two Gisellas? Sure. Knock yourself out. That's weird. I mean, if we hit a land, we can Inquisition and Solemn, and that gives us six mana. And then if we hit another land, we can Aleshnorn, which would be pretty sick, but... I have no idea what we're even playing against with this Sultai Fairies deck with Fairy Miscreant in it. It's very strange. Well, we did not hit a land, but we can try. Yeah, I'm just not gonna play against double fairy, double spell stutter sprite when we have no no future cards to play. Uh, I mean, surgical extraction's like 40 tickets, so I can't imagine this is a budget brew. Bitter blossom also not a budget brew. Also, full set of fetch lands and shock lands. This does not strike me as a budget deck. Um, hmm. Surgical, no. Collective Brutality could be good. Hmm. I mean, fetches are still like 10 tickets online, I imagine. Oh, I have not watched the video you sent me yet. Damping Sphere. Campbell. This one. I mean, even so, like, if you're still running Pluto Deltas and Breeding Pools, and, like, I mean, if, you're, if your entire mana base is still non-basics, like, you're, it's still not a budget brew. Like, you're not going to spend, like, 60 tickets on your mana base and be like, all right, I'm going to put Fairy Miscreant in my deck because because I don't have any money left. Um, I just want all these cards, and I just want to be able to cast them. I just want to go guy into guy into guy. And I don't know if we can do that. Budget reached... <laughs> <laughs> oh man I, I spent all my money on these lands so all I had all I could add after it was uh, Fairy Miscreant oh my god these one land hands dude we had hands with more lands in the 19 land deck this is unbelievable fine like this is not the fault of the deck even this is just not drawing lands like it's so awkward Is the best one drop fairies has. That's true, actually. Let's crack this. Get a godless shrine. I'll say yes. We'll crack this. Get another godless shrine. I'll say yes again. And I'll just give Nord's off signet. I wanted to make sure we had four mana for the broken blade, so I wanted to draw both fetchies. You got it. All right, if we can hit one more land to start chaining Thalia's Lancers, like we can even hit the land off of these guys. Nice. All right, so this is nice because if, unlike a four drop, we can actually avoid. Oh, that's pretty good. They're, they have to read it. They're like, hold on, what does this do? Yeah, Lush Norn versus Bitter Blossom just says, hey, 
take a damage every turn. I think we actually just want to play like... Do you just want to lie right here? Also, Liliana the Last Hope is pretty good, but I have to assume they have a Spell Stutter Sprite for that, so I'm not really super eager to get it. I love that you can grab a Kaya with Dahlia's Lancers. That's great, dude. I'm tempted to just take a 5 drop. Because they're going to have 1, 2. They're going to get another Fairy, so it's 3. And they have to play 2 Fairies in order to have 5. But having 3 is pretty easy. Also, this only triggers for non-tokens. So I don't really want to be messing with all that nonsense. Um... Could also just take a land. Get us one closer to Lesh number. We could also do that next turn with Natalia's Lancers. So, um, we could also just take Whip and just play a Whip. All that being, I'm just going to take the Lyra. Jace the Mind Sculptor. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're actually just getting a land with uh, Thalia's Lancers here so we can guarantee. One, two, three, four, five. What's better, fear or the prevent? It's a good question. They have two cards in hand. <laughs> Interesting. We also got a Bruna. I feel like it's just land, but I feel like we're gonna get we're gonna get punished for taking a land. Fear doesn't do anything if all their creatures are dead. <laughs> oh, that's dark, but also true. I hope they tap out for a 5-mana 2-2. Two, two. Jace is a hell of a card. Let's go get another Goblet Shrine. I want all the Goblet Shrines I can get. Alright, not punished. Do they have Cryptic Command? That's the question. I messed up. Always having cryptic command, never not having cryptic command. Wow, a disdainful stroke. That is a thing, isn't it? Did not expect that. Did you think about playing Kokusho? No. That's interesting. So could we actually go Heartless Summoning next turn and then play both of these? Was that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? One, two, three, four. We could actually, and we would actually have the white, and we'd have four white to do it. Yeah, that actually works out quite well. Are you just gonna let Jace die? Or are you gonna assassin's trophy? Hmm, fascinating. Well.
What is even happening right now? How are we losing this game? I don't think we have enough answers for things that are not creatures. That's my biggest problem right now. Like, we've had, we play against a lot of enchantments and, uh, and planeswalkers that have done some damage to us. One, two, three, four, five, six. We also have eight mana. So I have nine mana. We can just play both of these without the Heartless Summoning. That seems pretty good. Uh, we do not have a Boseju because I'm not really like it's not gonna. We don't have enough, we don't have any instants and sorceries that we really care about getting countered. They gonna play something here. They are gonna play something here. They're gonna. Are they gonna double block? I think that's fine. Oh, they're just single blocking. That's interesting. One, a two, three, four, Gisela. Oh, I like caverns a lot, actually. Why don't we have caverns in the deck? Oh, I had the spell stutter sprite the whole time. Of course you did. I actually forgot about the first strike. So I didn't read the card. I mean I knew we, I knew it had it previously, but I didn't even think about it in this context. It gets to a point where I'm playing magic where I get so where I feel like I'm so overwhelmingly far behind that I start forgetting what cards do, if that makes sense. Where I'm just like, oh man, I like, it's just that the first strike is irrelevant here, so I don't even think about it. Like, I just feel like I'm trying to figure out how to catch up rather than how to... Uh, can we just draw, like... This is an interesting... Do you have Bloodthirst? <laughs> What's happening right now? Do you have a Pump Spell? If they have, like, plus three, plus three, I'd laugh. What is this? Do you have a Spectacle spell that you want to trigger? Oh, you just want Sugar Fairy to push, sure. Can we get a Bruna here? A Bruna would be such gas. Bruna! One time. Heartless Summoning, number two. Okay. Okay. I understand. I understand. We're in one of those situations. Maybe we just want Liliana in the main deck to get rid of things like Heartless Summonings. <laughs> oh man I mean to be fair we're winning the life game oh my god why are you being like this chase the mind sculptor dude so you're winning at life Yes. Yes, I am. I have no idea what they're on. We also have no more basics, so our Field of Ruin uh, does not benefit us. That guy just resolved immediately, so I think they've f 6 Oh god, Jace. Oh my goodness gracious. 
Bruna, 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 Bruna. Solemn Simulacrum. We don't even have a basic. Oh my god, the fail to find is real. Yeah. Alright. Alright. I'm off Solemn Sol I'm off I'm off Solemn Simulacrum. I am on Liliana again though. <laughs> As a way to like discard these or like make them sacrifice a relevant creature. This has been the most like I feel like we've done a lot of going back and forth on things. Which is funny because like I think it's because black and white have just so many options. Is she Vendelian clicking me? Mistbind clicking me and just tapping on my lands. Cool. Okay, so we're getting rid of the Solemns. Cavern. Definitely putting in two caverns. Um, I don't think we need eight fetch lands, to be quite honest. Caverns are gas. Um, Liliana. I don't like Worm because we can't, it's like we have no way to, we can't search for it with Thalia's Lancers and it still costs triple black, which is actually really hard. And one of the main reasons we took out, uh, yeah, we're not playing four mass Worms. That's utterly insane. <laughs> That's not even real. Oh Lord. All right, let's give this a try. I'm out of play points. My God, today has not been great for our, for our for our record, unfortunately. I will play first. Keep. Snap keep. The funny thing is I still I still think the deck is great. I still like the deck a lot. Uh Thalia new or old, we have Heartless Summoning, so old Thalia is not great, new Thalia is kind of meh. Like we want to make sure the creatures that we get are actually uh, not dying or decently strong. I don't want to commit to what we what we choose with caverns. We might have to say human, which would be fine. And then we can actually find a second white source. Lord Jones brand CBD body lotion. Good times, man. Good times. That was pretty rude. Is Knight better than Human, by any chance? Praetor, Angel Horror, Angel, Angel, what is Gonti? Vampire Warrior, Aetherborn Rogue. So no, I guess it doesn't matter. They're all gonna find one thing. Yeah, we're just going to name human and then play Heartless Summoning. Because now we have two black for Kalidus. We have two white for Thalia's Lancer. And then we can actually get the, uh, the white land to get a second white if we really need it. Greatness at any cost. Nice. Uh, maybe nice. Well, 
What can we play next turn that's pretty good? Liliana actually seems pretty great here. Grabbing a Liliana, just making them sack whatever they get. We can also go 1, 2, activate 1, 2. If we hit another land... I kind of just like Liliana here. Oh, uh, there's Blood Baron, Blood Baron of Viscopa, but it's not it's not legendary, unfortunately. So we can't search for it. Otherwise, that'd be a sick inclusion. Well, that's fascinating. Also fascinating. One, two, three. So we can what we can do is go white, white. Nope, that doesn't do it. Dang it, the mana restrictions are still so rough. We want double white and double black, and we have white, white, and then the land we can get is actually a white. So that's unfortunate. One, two, activate. Then we have two lands left over. We can play Kalidus if we get a plane, or if we get a, a swamp. But we don't want a swamp. We want a planes here. It's still probably Thalia's Lancer. So she's going to go up to two, and then we have a Lancer on board. Easily discard path. If they play a creature, we can Liliana kill it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can also give uh, this guy. Rough, rough. This isn't legendary, actually, so we can't even get by. Oh, uh, it's unfortunate. One, two, and this guy's a two, three. Oh, man. Oh, why don't we have an Urborg in the deck? Oh, my God. See, this is what I mean. Like, there's so many revelations we're having. There's no reason not to have just an Urborg in this deck. This is, that's, that's the, that's the revelation right there. I don't think I even like any colorless lands. I'm gonna be honest. It sucks. I don't. I just don't like them. They're done. We're cutting them. We're getting. They're out. And for that reason, I am also out. Oh man, Urborg is insane. And for that reason, I am also out. I feel like we just want to Liliana make them sack a guy. I feel like that's where I want to be. Oh my god, can you imagine if this was an Urborg instead? Oh my god, I'm so I'm so thrilled about that Urborg.
Yeah, sure. Fascinating. Fascinating. One, two, three, and then we have two mana. I mean, you guys are either use Scavenging Ooze or Liliana, which is pretty decent. Uh, so wait, this are, these are only black sources. But if we get back a creature, they just make us discard it, unfortunately. Um, so we can get back Kalinas, can't cast it, can't cast Dahlia's Lancers. I guess we just do this and still take, yeah, that's not, hmm, that's sad. We just, we don't have a ton of options here is the problem. Yeah, I don't think we need Shizo. I think like one concealed courtyard. Actually, maybe two concealed courtyards and two isolated chapels is fine. Man, this is top deck mode city. How about an Aleshnorn off the top? One time. Inquisition. That's not going to do it. Fatal push. All right. So black white, black white. You, you, this is this is gonna yeah, it's probably still a white. It's probably still a plains here. Can they just kill themselves to uh to their own dark confidants? Nope. Four. That's pretty good. I mean, it's still game one. We're still not dead. Oh, why don't we have shambling vents in here? What? What is the deal with that? At least two shambling vents. They come in tapped. Do they? Huh. Who knew? Spoiler, everybody knew. It just doesn't matter. Uh, I haven't really seen the mono green control deck that much. I've seen like I've took a I've taken a glance at it, but I have no real thoughts on it. That would be actually pretty good if they didn't have a Liliana in play with a three a three of counters on it. Okay, so bring in these brutes. Conceal and vent. I'm predicting a lot of decks coming in tapped. What does that even mean? The decks are coming in tapped? Lands, decks, it's all the same. Yeah, just play Amulet, dude. What problem is? Actually, I kind of like this with the... Uh, you can take out Liliana the Last Hope. It's not Actually, Liliana the Last Hope also kills Dark Confidant. Dang. Dang. 
I guess you don't need the second whip. All the cards are good. That's what I like. Like, all the cards are great. I don't... I don't know if I like the first whip. It's just too mana intensive. Like, to get back one hit, you're like, oh, I'll get back my Kalidus and hit once. It just doesn't feel super good to get the Gaunti, I guess. All right. I'm going to get this and crack it first because I want to, like, with five lands in hand, I want to minimize the number of lands I do draw. Oh, man, I feel like our mana base just leveled up with these most recent changes of Shambling Vent and Urborg. Wow. I'm going to take two here and we're just going to play Heartless Summoning. Does Whip disrupt Melding? Um, I don't think so. You're going to Abrupt Decay this? Yeah, that's what I figured. So now we get Liliana Last Hope and just get to do whatever with her. But I refuse to be part of Nene's. Well, that's that's what comes next, buddy. So you don't really have a choice. Okay, well, all the answers are good here. Inquisition, don't care about. Fatal Push, Fatal Push, don't care about. Dark Confidant, Obnoxious, Liliana, more so. All right, so your hand actually can't deal with a Lyra. Dark Confidant's pretty obnoxious, though. Yeah, we 100% wanted the creature lands just to, like, pressure Planeswalkers or just to have ways to win on board. All right, let's see what you hit. You played Dark Confidant, you played Inquisition. So we know your hand is double fatal push. You're going to draw an overgrown tomb. That's nice. One and two and three and four. Gonna play this Gisela. So she can be fatal pushed, but you gotta have a trigger for that. Blooming Marsh. Well, you're getting lucky with your hits, but you're also hitting at least one land. So that's, I guess that's the, the compromise, right? <sighs> Hardcast Obstinate Bailoth. Fascinating. So they just want to kill this, basically. Eh, no. Is her fish has left the battlefield? Okay, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah. 
We're just going to tenure here. I refuse to trigger your... Dang it. Blooming Marsh. So your hand is Fatal Push, Fatal Push, Treetop Village. I assume you don't have two removal spells, so you, you probably just have one. You'll get rid of this. You'll take three, and then you'll take two. Uh. Thank you for the content. Please give it the good work. Chase, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. I'll, I'll take six. I'm going to be so heartless. Do you guys know how you could be so heartless? I, I don't actually understand. I'm just going to attack with both. See what happens. Okay, they go to six. Oh, they're going to kill the Gisela with the Fatal Push. That seems fine. Oh, they're dead. Oh, they did. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I was thinking of using other modes in case they had an answer for this or something, but man, I don't think it matters. They brought Bailoff in and we have Liliana. That seems a little scary. I want to bring the Gonti back in because maybe Gonti's decent. I don't know. Uh, keep. Snap keep. We'll see if it's a snap keep. They're going to get rid of our Inquisition. Oh. Oh. Got him. Dang it. It's like we knew. Yeah, we're just going to crack this now. Name Angel Horror with Cavern. <laughs> it's clearly the play. Can we draw an Abrupt Decay? Oh, I'm just going to path that, dude. Oh, Collective Brutality seems even better. Blah, 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 blah. Gasoline. So we're going to kill that dude and probably look at your hand. Dose Modes. Target player reveals their hand. Kill this dude. Cast... I'll choose you. I'll choose this guy. What are we discarding? Seven drop, probably. You have Tireless Tracker, Hissing Quagmire, Treetop. Seems good. Man, we hit a Maelstrom Pulse and a Dark Confont. That's gas. Oh, that's sad. That's a good top deck. Congratulations. Now you can play your one of your two tappy lands. It doesn't matter which one you play, man. You're going to play Tireless Tracker and play the other one next turn. There you go. Is this turn three? This feels like it's way past turn three in this game. There has been so much going on here. Yep, Tireless Tracker into Treetop, sure. If you like Gonti, you could build a commander deck with it. Just fill it up with the reanimate ways to bounce the Gonti. Oh, God. So now we can go one, two, three, four. Don't be countering this. Okay, so actually, I think we want a third Shambling Vent. Shambling Vent seems great here, and we can take out the Courtyard. Another isolated chapel to get the courtyard. So we have lands that come into play untapped or to make that make um what do you call it? Uh isolated chapels come into play untapped. We have quite a few. I just want to make sure we have enough. Four we can remove the sneaky isolated chapel. 
and then two of these because they're also going to get our thing. So all of these help. 15, 15 lands that would make Isolated Chapel come into play untapped on turn two. That's pretty good. Okay, well. Hmm. A land would have been nice. James, what are you asking here? What is this? What is he? What are you saying right now? Yeah, we're just gonna get in there. Ba 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 boom 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 boom. So we take nine here. If they activate treetop, we take twelve. Frank a land would have been nice to pour. Man, that is that is an accurate statement, my dude. Land. Oh, we did it. God, we're good at this game. They have no cards in hand. So actually, if we can dodge. One removal spell. I actually feel like we're okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. What do they play? They play a swamp? Alright, so we know they have Blooming Marsh in hand. So they have the top two cards if they're not removal spells to get rid of Bane Slayer. Or Gisela. We're doing it. Are we doing it? Oh, it's so close. We're so close. We're doing okay. Seven six. No blocks. No block on this. Fatal push, sure. I mean we figured you had that. Like obviously you're gonna concede if you don't have that. Oh, that's fascinating. Come on, Dark Confidant, reveal any one mana spell. Dark Confidant, kill them. <sighs> Kissing Quack. God dang it. Yeah, dang it. <sighs> Do we have to block here? I don't think so. No? All right, so we know you have Hissing Quagmire in hand. And one other card. I can't imagine... I mean, we're dead if it's any removal spell for Lyra. <laughs> like, they had to hit back-to-back -back lands or else they'd be dead. They had to hit Fatal Push or they'd be dead. And they have to have an answer for Lyra. So those are those are the four things that had to go right. Land with Dark Confidant, land with Dark Confidant, Fatal Push, Lyra. Okay, one of those four things did not go right, and so we ended up winning that game. Wow, all right. Woo! All right, we did it. God, we're already two, two hours and ten minutes. I've been enjoying this deck, though. I'm going to take the whip out as well. And I almost want one more, one more four drop. Because I do feel like we're trying to do four drop into either three drop, two drop into three drop or four drop. Hmm. Or maybe just another anguish done making, just have something to deal with other things. I also wonder if we need five, five Bane Slayer, essentially five Bane Slayer Angels. 
Two Karns would be interesting. Maybe we take out one Bane Slayer and add two Karns. That would be pretty neat. The problem is we can only play uh, Ors off Summon. Like, I like having creatures at four because then you have Heartless Summoning into the creatures, right? You have into Gonti, into Cletus. Um, you can't Heartless Summoning on turn three into a Karn or into a Gideon. Wow. Wow. Um, God, I really don't know. Like, I've really liked the way we've... I, I like the way this deck has evolved so far, and I like that we definitely found some problems. I definitely like Shambling Vent. I think it should have been in there from the beginning. Uh, if you're playing a tapped, a land that comes in to play tapped, this is a, the, one of the best ones you can possibly play. Um, I also think Urborg was a huge, a huge pickup. Huge pickup. Um, I do like the one Kai because she's pretty strong and modern right now, and you can search for it with Thalia's Lancers. I really do feel like we want something cheaper. I could even see a second Collective Brutality. But I mean, there's so many slots that are just like, it's totally like preference. Uh, I don't like Urza's Ruinous Blast. If you're behind enough, like, to, to be able to... Ca like, if you have any one of these legendary creatures that sticks, you're probably ahead. If you have a Bruna on board that hasn't died, so it allows you to cast it, you're probably already ahead. Hmm... Plus, like, there's so many times where you just want the extra couple life from, from Shambling Vent. We have a Linvala in the board. I don't think it's necessary for... I don't think it's super necessary for the main deck. There's gotta be... I feel like there's something, like... Because there's been so much. There's so many cards that you're just like, oh, yes, this is sick. I'm glad we thought of this. And if you're an Urza Planeswalker card, you're probably a head. Wow, that was that was pretty. That was something right there. Resto is interesting, but it doesn't really. You can blink this. This is a cast trigger, so it's not really going to do anything there. Resta doesn't really do much in the deck. Obnixilus is nice. That is a... I'm a huge Obnixilus fan. Nope, not Obnox. Alright, I'm going to put Obnixilus in. I'm going to take out one Bane Slayer. I think this is too many Bane Slayers, but I, I think... I don't think... I'm going to look at this black-white control list and see what we're playing in here. I wish this guy was legendary, then we can search for him, but I think it's still... I think he's still pretty sweet. Oh, it feels weird just not playing Lingering Souls, but we are playing... Um, we are playing Heartless Summoning, so. I have not played any Mardu Prison decks, no. I could see one Cambal just in the main deck. I could see it. It's just a 2 3 for 3 that, like, it's going to gain you at least, like, two points of life. Maybe. Oh, are we talking about... Yeah, but then she's just a 2-1. Like, it just doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't really impress me much. I don't know. What's the, what's the last card we're going to add here? That's the question. Hold on. Let me look it up. I'm going to look it up real quick. I feel like this uh, this video is going to be super long. It's going to be creature. That's going to be legendary creature, actually. Legendary, black or white, equal to four or three. And legal and modern. So I'm looking up three and four mana legendary creatures. Oh, okay. Well. His creature is legendary at most white and black. Oh, it's converted mana cost. Okay, so. I don't think I can add both of these, actually. 
All right, these are four drops I'm looking at. Oh God, Hikoro, no. No, no Dust Drinker. Dear God, no. I try to avoid cards that make it miserable for everybody. <laughs> Uh, oh, we could just play an Odric. Odric is pretty fitting. What about Traxos? <laughs> uh, I actually like Demon Lord Bells and Lock a lot because I feel like we're going to actually draw some cards with Demon Lord Bells and Lock. Oh, are we going to play a Demon Lord Bells and Lock in Modern? I'm actually gonna play one more one more match with this just because I like the deck. I usually stop. I mean, this I think we've done five matches. Yeah, we have. This is, and usually I try to keep it under two hours just for viewability. But keep cba yeah, glad you think so buddy really really glad you're uh you're enjoying it because otherwise what's the point all right this is actually this is might be the best hand we've ever had to be quite honest so it's coming together boys uh what lone rider and johnny's pride mate oh johnny's pride mate is definitely the scary card here oh man i'm liking this archangel of dune and lone rider How do I sign up for Patreon or sub to the chat? Bjorn, how do you not know these things? You've been a you've been a Twitch user for like years, dude. Uh let's go with this and we'll just sign it. Actually, is it just sub? I don't even know my own commands. Maybe it's not a command at all. I don't know. Who knows? All right. So they played at least two planes since then, along with the Lone Rider. Not a command at all. That's a solid command. Are you going to kill this? Wow. Well, you know what? Don't ever say you didn't make me do this. Angel or horror. <laughs> nice. I'm really tired of losing the infinite tokens. So we know this is going, we know this is going, we know there's an angel and some other things. Lone Rider again. All right. So now we know the exact two cards in hand. So this is interesting. We can actually do this and go to one card here. Let's get rid of this guy. One, two, three. Actually, this doesn't work at all, does it? Because we path this, we put them to five lands, they keep the Archangel, and then they just attack us with... Oh, that's rough. Yeah, if they had one fewer card, it'd be better. Yeah, actually, I wish we didn't do that now. I thought that, I thought it, I thought we had three lands because they played spectral. So I'm like, oh, clearly they're on three. So okay, that's gone. We're definitely both at Lily. Sure. Yep, that's fine.
Yeah, this isn't actually too bad. That's actually very good. Oh man, do we get Demon Lord? That actually seems pretty pretty sick. Someone said Demon Lord. Heatstroke said Demon Lord. I'm like, done. We could have gotten like a Baneslayer or a Lyra, which would probably have been the more strategic play because it lets us deal with the spirits. It gains us some life. We can actually cast it. But um, I think we can all agree Demon Lord and Bells and Lock is the cooler card, right? Well, boy, I am a big fan of Spectral Procession, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Land. Gonti? All right, well, that's fine. <laughs> now I'm a Swamp fan. <laughs> oh, what do we get here? Oh my God, Baron, you are the best, dude. You are awesome. Um, well, I've lost winner gain life. You would pay X for X is less than or equal to the amount of life you gain if you draw X cards. Life Linker, Sarah Ascendant. We can just play the Sarah Ascendant here. Bjorn, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. Uh, we can probably never turn on their Sarah Ascendant, I imagine. We can cast it, though, which is nice. But Lone Rider, on the other hand, is able to attack and... Yeah, I'm just gonna take the ascendant here. It's just I just want to be able to play it now. Shouldn't there be some cool alert and stream? Yeah, there should have been. I don't know why there wasn't. There we go. Nailed it. When did we add Gonti? I love Gonti. We just added Gonti. You only love Gonti because you're swamped here. That's obviously. Come on. Uh, This does not fly, right? All right, we're just taking five here. Like a Dave Brubeck song. Stop drawing things. Yeah. So what we can do is path one of our own guys, preferably the Sarah Ascendant, I guess. So four or five, we have seven damage. Like we're so close to just winning this game. Yeah, that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five. So we go to six. We play Demon Lord Bells and Lock. If we path our own thing, we're going to six. We're playing Demon Lord Bells and Lock. We're going to block one. So if, if we take even two damage, we die. Alternatively, can we can actually keep this on board to block. Alternatively, we can take four here. We can attack with this. We'll go back up to eight. And then they have four on board. I mean, awkwardly, I feel like we do have to actually have to path one of these guys because I think it keeps us alive. Our odds of actually just drawing a land are not terrible. And, like, drawing any card that also gives us a decent shot at doing things is also good. That's probably one of the worst cards we could have drawn here. So they're at seven, and we have seven on board. 
I still think we actually... Oh, God, we just kill our Sarah Ascendant, which is pretty bad. Yeah, we can't play that here. It does not have flying, no. All right, taking three. All right, we're actually doing okay. As long as they don't play like Archangel of Thune. They did not. There we go. So we go to five, and they have only three guys on board. This is such a, this is yikes city. I don't even think we can play. Yeah, we can play this, but we're not going to cast it. We're not going to cast Demon Lord here. Pet peeve is the opposite. Yeah, I was like a pet peeve. Uh, guilty pleasure. There you go. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I was like, what's your pet peeve? I was waiting for you to say it. Yeah, a guilty pleasure is the, is the, is the phrase we're looking for here. So if I cast this, if we draw even... If we draw one... So we're going to go to four, right? So we're dead. We would die if we drew two cards. If we drew one card, we'd be fine. But that doesn't seem like a risk I want to take. Meanwhile, like, they have to block this guy so they can come in for two, but then we gain one. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, that's obnoxiously good. But I don't have to risk it for the biscuit, at least not here. Pearl Black is pretty obnoxious. Oh, look at that. So they have to actually block here if we do this. Oh, this is nice. Demons for days. Kill you. Did you see him try to hide? He's like, no, don't look at me, man. I'm just, I'm just one of the guys. And now we can actually alpha safely because they have to block Thalia's lieutenant. They can't just like chump block Gonti here. Yeah, this is great. They go to one. We've turned off all their fetch lands, so that's cool. Man, Obnixilus doing some doing some work. Oh my god, this is too much. Well, they have to block everything, so they can't attack here, which is great. Do we just demon lord bells unlock here? <laughs> just for the YOLOs? Well, we're gonna attack first. Nature's little treasure. What's going on, buddy? And the birds in your life are not being too loud. No, they're being just loud enough. This is not draft. That would be insane. Oh, this is this is an interesting choice. I would also laugh when I drew five in a row. I think I'm at a position right now where I'm just like, I don't even want to risk it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, man. You guys tell me in chat. We basically won this game. You tell me in chat, do we do it or not? Do it? Okay. Oh. Oof. <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it. It's okay, guys. We only drew two. Oh, man. All right, so you're playing a bunch of token nonsense. Man, this, this Alesh Norn is going to be MVP. I hope. Kaya seems good? Wait, why? Really? I thought Campbell seemed better than Kaya. I mean, Kaya's not going to excel any one mana permanence as far as I can tell. Like, you're, maybe you'll get rid of Lingering Souls, but that's pretty much it. Exile Sarah Ascendant. Oh, that's it, though? Mm. 
Yeah, but I don't want a three-man planeswalker that's just going to do that. I'd rather bring like a collector brutality, which is also going to do the same thing, but it's also going to do other things as well. Oh, we got that Urborg though. Oh yeah, see now we're talking. Sand is actually also very good, man. Urborg boys. Oh, that's 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 obnoxious. Kai give haste? What does that mean? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? It's converted mana cost one or less, I believe. Uh, yeah, one or less. Exile target permanent with a converted mana cost one or less. Yeah, so we can just exile with like three tokens. You know, that's solid, solid strat. Solid stratocaster. Yeah, I feel like we just want to play Urborg and Collective Brutality here. We can discard a Signet pretty easily. Two modes. Neg two, neg two, and reveal your hand. Choose you, kill this. Rider, Angel, a Johnny. Wow, Johnny's busted. I was trying to get to a Liliana position where I can actually get rid of this. But apparently, you're just going to play a Lone Rider. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may gain a life. Sure. The card is great. I will take one. Like you do. There's a lot of, there's a lot of lands, guys. Oh, I don't like all the lands that I'm drawing. Lone Rider is gone. So you have a three, a four drop and a five drop. We don't actually need the signet here because we can actually just play land land and then go Liliana into. We can also just plus Liliana. We can also not even sacrifice these to be honest. Yeah, I don't actually feel like we need to signet anymore. Oh, Ranger of Eos. All right. Okay, okay. Um play marsh flats and oh this is nice basic land plant swamp plain swamp that's pretty cool one two three four each player discards i'll give it a bloodstained mire that modern scrub land though so they only have a johnny here which is great don't hit a land 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 did they not hit a land Wow, we can play Kalidus and make them sack a thing? Oh boy. This game just ended. Or we can plus again. What do we do? Make them sack. Make them sacrifice. The Urborg, man. Ooh. Also just letting you tap your fetch lands for mana. And the shambling vents. All these this is it. This is the this is the deck. We did it. We broke the format. Any interest in a spicy legacy case? I don't think I've ever not been interested in a spicy brew from you. <laughs> you are always welcome to send those over, and I will always appreciate them.
So let's actually, we have nothing to do here, so. Let's just be a little aggressive. It starts with four Lazav, wow. Like you do. Thirty to eighteen, we're getting there. All right, so they have their Johnny. We maybe we should have just plussed. I think we should. have... I forgot about the pro black, so they'd be able to kill it. I thought we were like we have a ton of blockers. That's probably the mistake that's going to cost us. If anything costs us, we're still in strong shape. I'm intrigued that you do not play the Johnny. I'm actually going to sack these to get lands because I'd rather have. Uh, two fewer lands in our deck. Did they settle the wreckage? Hmm. Fascinating. What does get their ascendant mean? I don't even know what that means. We have seven mana. We can literally cast anything we draw, which means every time we say that, we top deck. Why don't they play a Johnny? I guess because we just kill it with Brizella or Gisella? Brizella? What a way to go. What? What a way to go. I'm just going to attack because I want them to have Blessed Allegiance. Blessed Alliance. That's not what we wanted you to have. Really? I was so close. Why do they always have to ruin it every time? We were so close. We were going to meld. One, two, three, four, five. God, man. I just wanted a Brazella Voice of Nightmares one time, dude. Is that too much to ask? Oh, you mean get their just get their Sarah Ascendant as in like it's triggered. I get you. I got you. So you have a Johnny and two other cards. That's a good boy. I think we just alpha. Um, well, we could just kill a Johnny, I guess. And then if we... Like, I don't want them to double block Kalidus, so we can just attack a Johnny. Yep, that seems fine. What are your thoughts on the walkers in the upcoming set? I made a whole video about it on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Frank Lepore. You can check out the video. Uh, my thoughts are... it's pretty sweet i like marketing stuff like that where they just do things that are really unexpected and unique draw like four cards you're gonna draw one card you're gonna draw one card uh how many walkers can be in the set 30 36 
I don't have any. One, two, three, four, five. We have eight mana. So even if we wait to path on our turn, we can still cast. <sighs> yeah, we're just getting rid of this. Come on, field event. Girl, the rock you are. Attack your face. Attack a Johnny. Attack your face. Attack your face. Attack your face. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18. So it's not lethal. I assume you have at least one other path, and you're probably going to use it on Belschnickel. There's a certain irony to us drawing collective brutality the turn after they settle us. Oh, dear God. What about the angel that gives you hex for a shalai? We had one shalai in the deck originally. Another keep. I feel like our hands have been more keepable since we've made adjustments. Turn three, Gonti is pretty good. If we can hit a planeswalker, that'd be sweet. Sure. It's also good. Also, we've had very few uh, colored mana issues, which has been great. I think the mana base is at least uh, in the right in the right place. Yeah, that's obnoxious, but yeah, we're probably gonna just Gonti here. Actually, is it Gisela? Gisela blocks, but if they have a path, I'd rather just get the card and see what we... Like, this guy trades with a Johnny Pride mate as well. Oriok Champion seems pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll take an Oriok Champion. Yeah, who would have thought? It figures, of course, they have that. Uh, let's get a planes. So we take five here. Six, I guess. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
Sure. Yikes. Oh boy. Alesh Schnorn off the top one time. So this dude flips. Crack you. Get a Gondla Shrine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brizella one time. One time. Thoughtseize. That's not the same at all. I mean, I'm still gonna play it. And find Thank yeah, that's that's good. Let's get rid of that. Should have attacked first. I'm not good at this game. I'm not sure it would have made a difference. Actually, it would have definitely made a difference. Now we can't get past this, whereas before we could have. That's rough. Yeah, the subtle is really tilting, I want to be honest. Let's... Oh, oh yes. First strike, trample, lifelink. Ah, do we just block this dude? Holy Jesus. I really don't actually, I mean, like, we could trade? It doesn't put us in great position, though. I mean, Bruna's great here. Alesh Norn is great here. If we just attacked, we would have been in better shape, I think. But I, I still don't know if it would have made a difference. Collective Brutality. Gain two life. Target you, target you. Discard this thing. It's definitely crossed my mind that we could use like a Settler Wrath of God effect. I'm just going to take six here because I have no choice. And I'm really going to hope we draw you to the Leshnorn or... Briz Come on, one time. Just one time. One time. I Conjo Castle. God, this match is unbelievable. Like, I feel like we were so far ahead. We were doing so well. And then it's just like a few a few misplays and we just throw it all away. Man, so close, dude. I don't know. Either way, CPA 69, I still had a great time playing the deck. I still thought the deck was pretty fun to play and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch, Patreon, manatraders.com and uh, coolstuffinc.com. Use Frank5, you'll get 5% off. Meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. And... Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to have your own decks critiqued, you can definitely check out my Twitch or Patreon page. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys later.